What's up, you guys? It's your Orange County real estate agent, Johnny Kim, and you already know today is July 21st. I hope you guys are having a great evening. Um, I know you guys are anxious for a quick housing report of Orange County, so I'm going to quit yapping and get straight into it. <laughs> So we finally seen interest rates drop below 7%. While in the data hasn't really fully reflected this change, mortgage consultants report that their phones are ringing more frequently, indicating rising interest from potential buyers. However, homeowners and sellers should remain cautious. The market isn't going to boom overnight just because rates are now under 7%. We're observing a typical seasonal pattern where inventory is increasing and demand is falling, leading it to longer market times. Now, homeowners shouldn't expect a dramatic market shift just yet, but as interest rates continue to decline, we may see changes in the future. For this week, we'll discuss about housing payments and affordability. Many people often say that interest rates were much more higher in the past. For instance, for in 1981, interest rates were about 16%. The 1980s saw some of the highest mortgage rates in modern times, with an average rate of 13.75% in 1980 and 16.65% in 1981. Comparatively, in 1990, rates were at 10%, and in 2000, they were at 8 8%. Last October, rates hit 8%, causing considerable concerns. As of this week, Freddie Mac's mortgage market survey reports a rate of 6.77%. Now, let's take a historical perspective, starting with 1981. Back then, the median home price in California was about $108,000, and median income was about $22,300. A 20% down payment was roughly equivalent to one year's income, with monthly payments taking up 65% of a borrower's income. By 1990, with a medium home price of $194,000 and an income of $33,200, monthly payments were about 49% of income. In 2000, with an 8% interest rate, a median home price of $241,000 and a medium income of $47,000, monthly payments were just about 60, 36% of income. In 2024, with current interest rates about 6.8%, the median home price is around $960,000, and the median income is estimated around $92,000. This makes the monthly payment of $4,740, consuming 62% of the median income. This is way higher than the 1981 level of 65% due to higher home prices today. Now, looking ahead to 2025, we expect an interest rate to potentially drop to 5%. Given current trends and projected rate cuts by the Federal Reserve, assuming home prices remain stable and incomes grow to about $95,000, monthly payments could fall around $3,800, reducing the income burden to 48%. Now, interest rates significantly impact affordability. If rates were to drop to 5%, affordability will improve, but it may not return to levels seen in 2000. While home prices and interest rates were critical, income plays a crucial role as well. As interest rates decrease, demand will likely spike, potentially leading to a hotter housing market. In summary, in this whole video, while we are seeing some positive changes with interest rates dropping below 7%, it's important to stay realistic about immediate impacts. The market will adjust gradually, and as rates continue to fall, we can expect increased demand and potentially see more homes entering the market. Keep an eye though on these trends as they start to develop in the future. And as I have for you guys today in this video, I hope you guys found this video super informative. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. It would mean so much to me and help anyone that's looking to move or live here in Orange County and just help the algorithm algorithm in general. So that's it for you guys today's video. And also I have some more housing walkthrough videos coming up this week. I hope you guys are excited. We're starting to see more homes entering the market market and so it's very important to know um what your options are and work with a real estate agent that way you get more insights on homes and a little bit more um exclusive um you know showings private showings and all that anyways if you guys have any questions or concerns or about orange county whether you're in the in the if you're a first time home buyer or you're thinking about selling your home please feel free to contact me my information will be in the description and on the screen right here i hope you guys do like this video and then I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.